uh, and let's get started. All right, YouTube, this is going to be an idea that was given to me by Avil and Zach Fair. It is the tier list. It is the MK11 PC player tier list. All right. So since I've basically spectated just about every game, since I've spectated just about every game on PC for the last, like, I don't know how long, um, I feel like I'm probably the one to let people know who is the best and the worst and so on and so forth. So we need things like bronze, silver, gold, etc. I would like, like I've said it time and time again, the way that the Japanese do their rank system, I'm a big fan of. I don't believe in monthly rank resets and and uh, and 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 uh, what was it called? Monthly rank resets and whatever the fuck else um, that MK has going on. I don't I don't like the rank system at all. I like the way Street Fighter has his rank system. I like the way um, I like the way Tekken has his rank system. I actually prefer Tekken's rank system because Tekken's rank system has way more ranks to grind. So it makes getting the highest rank really mean something. And then on top of that, you have ranks for individual characters. So just because you're Tekken God Prime with one character doesn't mean that you're Tekken God Prime with every character. You feel what I'm saying? Anyway, let's move on. Of course, they would say that because they play on console. They don't really play on PC. So the ranks are going to be Elder God, God... Uh, Demi God, Grand Master, and Master or below. All right. So these are going to be our tiers. I'm going to make the tiers for the pro players. All right, for our PC players, Elder Guard is hard on console. There are more players, and there are really more good players to sift through. The majority of the pro scene is on PS4, and is grinding the game in KL. I can see that. All right, so let's um, let's move on. All right, first person I'm going to uh, the first person I'm going to put. Now there's some people here who I have not seen. There's some people here who I have not seen, so I'm not going to put them in the in the tier list if I don't know about them. Um, the first person I'm going to put is our Lord and Savior, the Great Khan. All right. Actually, let me tell the people in the Discord I'm doing the tier list real quick. Give me one sec. At MK11. Oh, wait. At MK11. Doing the PC player tier list right now in the stream. Come through to see where you stand. Uh, are you winning, son? Where's my punish? That's actually so good. That's actually me. That's actually Queen Meta coming in saying, hey, are you winning? And it me screaming, where's my punish? <laughs> this is so accurate to my life. This, this, is, this is very accurate to my life, guys. This is me. This is me all the time. Yeah, Mag was the Melina player I was playing, Abyss. Where's Black Cat? Lol. Um, so yeah, so let's move on to the tier list. Our Lord and Savior, the Great Khan, will always be number one. And I'm going to tell you why Great Khan will always be number one. Great Khan has the ability to not only adapt to every situation and every matchup, Great Khan can win with any character. Great Khan uh, also understands the game at a higher level than most players. And Great Khan is actually, I would say, on the level of some of the best players in the world even though the great con is technically a casual player like he's like the most skilled casual i've ever seen like con is like a regular guy who works a job and shit and he just comes on and just bodies everybody you know well remember mag michelle how do we learn by losing that's how we learn great no you've never played against con then anti gorilla you don't know He's a casual player, but he's a casual player that can body literally any. He's a Khan is a casual player that can body literally anybody. And when I say anybody, I mean literally anybody. I would even say that Khan could probably do well against Sonic Fox. Even you took a game off Khan once. I mean, people will take games off Khan here and there, but 
you know, at the end of the day, Khan will adapt and you will never take a game off him again, you know? And I'm telling you right now, I, I'm, I'm, I've I'm been watching Khan play for a long time. I'm telling you right now, I think Khan could take games off of, I think Khan could compete with some of the best in the world, easily, you know? I strongly believe that Khan has the potential to be one of the best players in the world if he decided to ever take Mortal Kombat seriously, you know? But Khan right now, he's a casual player, but he's on the level of like a Deoxys, a Sonic Fox, a Ninja Killer. I literally put Khan on that level, you know? I would I would always put Khan on that level. Um, Deoxys, obviously, because uh, Deoxys goes on 200 game win streaks in fucking Combat League on PC. Katana Prime as well. I mean, all these guys are pros. I've never seen Rewind play on PC, but I mean, it's Rewind, so, you know. Uh, let me see. Let me let me get all the pros out of the way. Let me get all the pro players out of the way. Are there any more pro players here? Because I want to focus on actual PC players. So, yeah, VGY. Any other actual pros here? Let me see. Any other actual pros? Hold on a second. We're going to get all the real pro professional players out of the way. Oh, yeah, just meta. Top one by the way just met a top one by the way just saying <laughs> just met a gaming tv is an actual pro i would say this i'm elder god in knowledge i know so much about this fucking game but you know I i'm just working on learning how to execute what i know but but you know i do i have watched so many fucking i've watched so many matches of mortal kombat and you guys all right, all right, so now we're going to move on to people who I think are masters or below. Oh, yeah, Koizy's here, too. Yeah, Koizy. And I'm going to make... This is ordered, by the way. Just exclude me. Wasim? Is Wasim on here? Where is Wasim? I don't see Wasim. Where is Wasim? Shane. Uh, let's see. Where is Where is Wasim? Is Wasim on here? Oh, yeah, Wasim is here. Okay. So, Wasim, I'm going to put up here. Actually, I'm going to put about here. I'm going to put Wasim like there. And actually, I'm going to put Rewind here, and I'm going to put VGY here. And yeah, I, I believe. Okay. Uh, any other pros? There's a lot of fucking pro players on PC. All right, are we ready to get into third line? Third line, okay. Wolfpack, Big Senior, Yoba, Zach, Chris, Sif, Alex, Nancy, Blades, Broken Virtue. There's no pros here. What the fuck? AC on a Street Fighter Pro does it count? Lol. Slink, better be Elder God. Don't down. Where is Slink? Is Slink here? Um, mm. I'm gonna. Th this might be controversial, but we'll get we'll get to Slink in a second. We'll get to Slink in a second. All right, so now I'm going to explain my reasoning. The Great Con, I do believe, is by far the best. Ignore me. I'm just going to put me down here. Um, the Great Con, I do believe, is by far the best PC player in the world for Mortal Kombat. And I do believe he's on the... As if we're talking about PC, I will always put him first. If he was on console, I would probably put him down here. But because he's on PC and he is the number one PC player, I'm going to put him here. Um, I do believe he could compete with any of these guys here. He's he's on their level. I believe that all of these guys are on the same level, you know? Uh, so now let's get into real PC players. Um, I do believe Thamer is Elder God level, 100%. But Thamer suffers from a few key mistakes. But I think that over time, Thamer will learn how to correct those mistakes. Um, where's Skid Marky? Where's Mash Marky? I would put Skid Marky over Thamer because I feel like Skid Marky is as close to a pro player as we have on PC. Verms better be S plus. Lol. Imagine I have a rewind on the very top of the list. Rewind and Deoxys alone are within the top five people of the game. Well, you do see that they are within the top five right here. You do see that I have them in the top five. All right, so Skid Marky, I believe, is the closest person to professional level 
aside from the Great Khan, I think Skid Mark is our closest, the closest skill-wise to the professional um, player level that we have on PC. So yeah, I, I believe that Skid Marky is definitely up there. Uh, Skid Marky has competed with the best. Like I said, Skid Marky, Thamer, these guys are really, really good. I just think that there's a little bit, they, they, they need to get a little bit better to move up here. You know, if they want to move up here and be like up here, they need to get a little bit better. There's like better decision making that needs to be made sometimes. Better reads that need to be made. Um, maybe, I mean, because technically and mechanically, these guys are good. But, you know, matchup experience, matchup knowledge, may, being able to make reads, being uh, meta, you want to employ me. Uh, Vermeers, by the way, we found two artists for our... Um... Vermeers, we... Vermeers bottom minus 10,000. Well, Vermeers, we found another sprite artist for our community video game, by the way. So now we got sprite artists. So Vermeers, you got some work to do. Uh, let me see. Who else do I think is S tier? Definitely Furious J for the Jax. Best Jax on PC, period. Let me see. Shane. I would say Shane is up there. I would say Shane is even better than Skip Marky, actually. And Shane is definitely there. Actually, I would say Shane is up here with Great Khan level of, of, of player. But the problem is Shane dropped the game. What do you think about Abyss? Uh, we'll get to Abyss in a second. You don't know who Jay is? Jay's literally watching the stream right now. <laughs> Jay's literally watching the stream right now. I think Shane is... Um, Shane, for those who don't know, you guys haven't seen... For a lot of the new people here in the chat have not seen Shane in a while because Shane kind of dropped the game. Um, but Shane definitely is one of PC's best players up there with the Great Con on Great Con's level, if I have to say so myself. And, um, and yeah, Shane is also the guy who taught me how to um, how to play this game. Actually, Shane was one of the people who really helped me understand how to play fighting games in general. So Shane is a uh, what the fuck is this? Lol, you just heard my name. PC player tier list. That's what we're doing. Um, let me see. Definitely Mia MB is up here, pro level. I would put him around here. I would put Mia around there. Definitely. Uh, Yenner, even though I don't fuck with Yenner, I will put Yenner around Skid Marky level. Yenner is very good. He's just not he's just not allowed to do any more of my tournaments anymore. Jay's Jax is insane. Where's Scar? Man. I don't know why y'all keep asking me about Scar. You guys know what the fuck went down with Scar on my channel, bro. I'm not fucking putting Scar on this list. Stop talking to me about this guy. <laughs> my bad, bro. <laughs> who is Beavis? How do you not know who Beavis is? Man, if you was on the list, where would you place? I don't think you want me to answer that, Potato. He's good, but not as good as Thamer. Uh, Yenner, I think, is better than Thamer. I think Yenner is better than Thamer, in my opinion. Um, hmm. This is actually kind of tough. This is this is kind of tough, huh? Now, Slink. This might be controversial. I'm going to put Slink in the God column. I'm going to. It's mad. Yeah, Magic T's here. Beavis is a, is the homie. Wait, what happened with Scar? Uh, just go check out that episode of Button Check. Your man Orlesto Lopez talked about it. Go go check out that episode of Button Check. It, it, it went viral. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about it. Um, I'm going to put Slink one tier below. And the reason why. What about Gorog or Slink? I'm downplaying Slink. I'm not downplaying Slink. God is still very good. You guys are going to see that God is still very good. I just don't think that Slink is as good as these players. 
even though Slink has beaten Skid Marky, I think Skid Marky just be. Well, see, then that doesn't make sense because Slink has beaten Skid Marky quite a bit. But Skid Marky has also beaten Slink quite a bit as well. So, Slink is Elder God free. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like there's something about Slink that I feel like it's not all the way there yet. But based off of matchup and history, I would have to put Slink here. Um, Gorog, I will put here. Toby, if you ever fucking played the game, I will put him here. Toby is mad good. Ava Maria, I will put her here. Omar, Masad, and Marad, I will put them here. Muhammad, I would actually put him here. Uh, let's see. Avil, I will put him here. Let's see. Shapeless. Shapeless hasn't played this game. The reason why I'm not doing anything about Shapeless is Shapeless hasn't played this game in a very long time. Uh, I will put Omi about here. Let me see. I will put Evil Spawn up here. I will put Game Bug. I'll put Game Bug about here. I'll put Vixen. I'll put Vixen here. Uh, Magic T. I will put Magic T here. Uh, let's see. Alez, I will put up here. Alez, I will put before Skin Marky. Definitely. Are you sure about Masad's spot? If Magic T uses the same characters Great Khan uses, he'd be Elder God. <laughs> Probably. Shapeless plays on console and plays occasionally with you. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen Shapeless play on PC in a very long time. Bro, are you sure about Game Boy spot? I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm quite sure about Game Boy spot, actually. You guys are going to understand why I put the tier list the way I put it. Just let me finish it. Maxwell, I will put... Uh, let me see, 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 let me see. I will put Borgor here. I will put Beavis. It's kind of tough about Beavis. It's kind of tough about Beavis. This is this is a tough one. This is a toughie for Beavis. This is a toughie. This is a toughie for Beavis. Because depending on where I put Beavis, I would have to put someone else somewhere else as well. Game bug a little low. No, this isn't even low. You loved fighting shapeless the guy event top biz disappear too. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. It's, this is not low at all. Trust me. It's not low. God is not low. You guys think it's low because I haven't filled in the rest of the tier list yet. Trust me, some people's feelings are about to get hurt. But I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to put Beavis. I think I want to put Beavis here. Uh, Maxwell. Sunder. Tech. Wolfpack. I don't see enough of Wolfpack. Wolfpack to know, so I'm going to put him here. Yoba. Listen, I'm putting myself up here. Fuck this shit. I'm putting I'm putting me up here. Actually, I'm just gonna put myself out of the thing entirely. Uh Zach Fair. Here. Sif. Uh Sif kinda throws a lot. Let me see. Super possessed. I will put him here. You need to join more PC turdies. You ain't over here because you guarantee top one. You feel like giving enough time you compete with some of these guys? Yeah, yeah, no, I mean. It's definitely a thing. Fester, I will put down here as well. Uh, DBZ Lover. DBZ Lover is a tough one. I think DBZ Lover is up here. I think Ganani is around uh, here. I think Ganani is around here. Monarch. I will put Monarch somewhere between here. I will put Monarch here. Kusai, uh, I will put Kusai down here. Uh, Gary, I will probably put Gary here. Broken Virtue, you get bottom one. <laughs> Broken Virtue is who I think it is, right? Uh, 
Uh, I don't know anything about Columba, by the way. I have no idea about Columba. Abyss. Where would I put Abyss? Abyss has leveled up quite a bit. In Abyss, you did uh, put Slink in Losers, right? I feel like Abyss has leveled up quite a bit. You need to be on the list so you can get your feelings hurt. It feels bad to not be on the list when Toby is. Toby is free. <laughs> Why does Zach get fucked for no reason? I'm not fucking Zach. I'm gonna explain to you guys. I haven't even ordered down. I haven't even ordered down here yet. But I will explain. I will explain why I put people where I put them. Like I said, I've been watching you guys play for going on two years now. You guys gotta trust me on this. All right. This is all for improvement. SMK, I will put here as well. Vladdy, Wendy. I will put here. Blaze. If Blaze was serious, if Blaze was competing in tournaments and shit, I would probably put Blaze up here. But whenever I put Blaze in a tournament, he doesn't do well or any kind of like competitive situation. But he's like a really solid player. But he's also kind of a casual. But he's like super solid and super sweaty at the same time. So I might want to put Blaze there. Uh, Ixion, I would kind of put down here currently, but I'm sure Ixion will, I think, mark you better, better, not better, all right. Um, let's see, Fluff, I've never really seen Fluff play. I'm still really torn about where to put Abyss. I'm, I got half, I, I really feel like Abyss could be up here, actually. Free punch also could be maybe around here. I don't think he's better than Sif. I don't think he's better than Yazdis. Yeah, I don't even think free punch. Yeah, I don't think free punch is better than any of those people. Um, NASCAR doesn't even play this game. <laughs> NASCAR barely plays Mortal Kombat anymore. Uh, True Hunter. I haven't seen True Hunter play in a long time. Ripper, I haven't really seen Ripper play either. Uh, let me see. MNJ. Can't wait for chat to vote where to put meta. Nascor doesn't even play the game. Better than Johan. <laughs> I do think Nascor is significantly better than Johan. Toby quit too. Yeah, I know Toby quit. No, Ixion is strong fundamentally, but Ixion has some work to do um, with learning like the game and the matchup. Once Ixion learns the game and the matchup, I'm sure once he learns all the matchups and shit, Ixion will probably be up here. But for right now, Ixion is down here. You'd be at least Grandmaster free. This is such a fun thing to do. Uh, let me think. Uh, huh. I don't know who John is. I don't know who Hootie is. I don't know who Fran is. Rao Zeke, sir. I haven't seen him play in a long time. Who is this? Makaron. Okay. Let's talk about Makaron. Makaron, footsie and knowledge-wise, should be up here. But Makaron makes... I, every time I spectate him, Makaron, he makes a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes. Um, Shapeless. From what I remember, Shapeless was up here. And if you guys say he's still playing on PlayStation, then I'll just put Shapeless up here. Uh, let's see. Sprudelwitz, Stone Cold, Deswi. Deswi, you don't even play this game. <laughs> Alright, the rest of these guys I'm not familiar with. Yeah, yeah, there's another, there's a tournament this Saturday, actually. PC Fight Night every Saturday. There are only two Raiden players on PC. Well, let's not forget about Genomod. Yeah, every Saturday we have a tournament. Alright, so now I'm going to explain. Let's go second and Zach Fair. Oh no, there's more Raiden players. Three punches Raiden. Geno mod is the scrubby Raiden. Alright, so now I'm gonna explain my, my reasoning. Alright? Now that we got all of the tier lists done. Where to place meta? Lol. Elder Dog, Dog, Demi Dog, Grand Dog, Trash Tier. Uh I'm gonna put myself trash tier. There we go. <laughs> you made the best poll. Yeah, just vote for me for trash here. There you go. All right, so I already told you guys, Great Con and Shane, I feel like are on the level of Diasis, Wasim, Rewind, VJ, 
TGY, Mia. I feel like they're on the level of your pro player, right? Um, Slink. Since Slink plays with a lot of these guys on the regular, I put Slink there. But I think that's I think that Slink needs to level up a little bit more to be further up the tier list. Alez, I feel like is also an extremely solid player who plays on the level of of a lot of these pro players. Uh, Skid Marky, Yenner, Thamer, I also feel as well play at that very high level. Um, Jay, Gorog, actually I would even put Gorog before. I would actually even put Gorog before Skid Marky, actually. I would put Gorog before Skid Marky, and if Toby didn't drop the game, I would put Toby right after Slink, to be honest. But Toby dropped the game, so he actually goes down here. <laughs> uh, J, DBZ Lover, Shapeless, we already know about them. Magic T, I feel like, I feel like Magic T improves so fast that it's only a matter of time before Magic T is up here. It's just like minor mistakes that keep Magic T from, uh... no, you're like Grandmaster, I think, bruh. I'm at least God. Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know, bro. Y'all don't even know. Y'all be sleeping on the jacks, but that's fine. I don't. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind, chat. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, um, I think Magic T is really good for PC players. Characters hold Magic back. Can't make him play Garrus. You got like one game on Beavis. I have beaten Evil Spawn before. I've beaten Muhammad before. I've beaten Gamebug. I've beaten Blaze. I've beaten Monarch. I've beaten Marky Jesus. Most of the people in God I've beaten, actually. Def Demi, mostly dog. <laughs> nah, I, I got that dog rank. Nah, I'm dog rank, bro. I know I'm at least here somewhere. Probably at the tail end. You want to play people like Ava? Nobody's unbeatable. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Um, Beavis, Magic T, Vixen, Evil Spawn, I feel like are all kind of at the same level. Um, I feel like Avil, if Avil had better tournament results, I would put Avil up here with Skid Marky, Yenner, and Thamer. I would put Avil about here. The reason why Avil is not here is because his tournament results are never good. Like, I don't understand how, like, such a good, I don't understand how Avil is such a good player. But he always loses with in tournament. Starting, thanks for the follow. Uh, didn't share, retire. You got to prove you can get dog consistently. That is true. That is true, Vermeers. You're right about that. So do a first to three with Abyss. You win as God. You lose as Demigod. Lol. Abyss is going to wreck me. Yeah, Shane dropped the game as well. Shane, Shane would be one of the best in the world if he didn't drop the game. I mean, Ava's playing on PC on the regular, though. Hey, you know your streamer. <laughs> what about that first attempt with free punch? I did the first attempt with free punch. I'll tell you what's holding free punch back, though. I'll tell you what's holding free punch back. Um, Abyss used to be down here and abyss has leveled up so much in the last couple months that it's actually crazy that i have a feeling that if abyss key continues playing he'll be up here very soon you know so abyss has definitely leveled up quite a bit muhammad as well muhammad used to be free muhammad used to be absolutely free you know like there was a time where i, I swear to god muhammad was free as fuck you know Abyss, number one. There was a time where I felt like Muhammad used to do the tournaments and he used to be free as shit. And I don't know what the fuck happened. Maybe his big brother started fucking playing. Hold on. Chad playing video games. Let's see if we can find that Chad image of Chad playing video games. No, is it Uber Chad? Hold on a second. Uber Chad playing video games. Where is it? Uber Chad at computer. 
Where is the Uber Chad, bro? On the fucking computer. You know what? Fuck it. I, I fucked up the joke I was trying to make. Whatever. Anyway, Uber Chad Gamer. Okay, all right. Let's look at it. Uber Chad Gamer. Is it all like one word or something? Uber Chad Gamer. You guys know what I'm looking for, right? Bruh. Anyway, long story short, the joke I'm trying to fucking make is that I don't know what the fuck happened to Muhammad, but he fucked around and became like this. He went from fucking, he went from like being, he, he literally went from being free to being fucking Giga Chad. Is this part going to go to YouTube video? Yes. That's, that's what happened. All right. I saw the image one time, bro. And now I can't fucking find it again. Anyway, long story short, Muhammad went from this to this. Like, Muhammad leveled the fuck up so hard, bro. Well, what you're looking at is, is Uber Chat. Omi, um, Omi's really good. Omi makes some mistakes. Ava Maria, I feel like Ava Maria is really good as well. Um, but she does lose. She would lose to a lot of these kind of players. And she would definitely lose to these players. So she's got some leveling up to do, but I think that her Cetrion is legit. And I think her Cetrion is better than most people in the community. Uh, the reason why I put Game Bug so far down here is because Game Bug um, is really good technically. But Game Bug becomes very predictable because there's a, there's a game plan. If they remove Kotal mid command grab... Muhammad will struggle, no cap, great comp, better than rewind overall or just on PC? Uh, we're just talking about PC. Not overall. This is not overall, this is all PC specific. Alright? Um, game bug, I would say, um, game bug becomes very predictable with the way he plays the game, right? Like, game bug is always pressing on wake up. Game bug will always do certain things after certain things. Like it becomes kind of predictable, and game bug also loses to everyone that's above him. Right? So everyone on this list, game bug would normally lose to. Right? Uh, Omar Massad and Murad, both of these guys are really good, but I have not seen them play in a long time. But from what I remember, they were they were about this level. Uh, Ganani, I think is a, is a really good player. Gidani kind of suffers from being a little bit too patient sometimes. Um, you know, playing a little bit too safe. And, and because of that, Gidani misses punishes. No way Masad is higher than Yasninski. Well, I don't remember. See, the reason why I put them both here is I don't remember which is which. I know the Omar, Masad, and Murad. I played against both, but I don't remember which is which. That's the, that's the funny part. I don't remember... I don't remember which is which. Because they both got the same name and I've always confused the two of them. So there you go. Uh, Marky Jesus I think is also really, really good. But And remember, God is really, really good. Murad is the Garrus. Masad is the Searing Rage. Oh, okay, yeah. So the, if he's the Searing Rage, then I would put the Searing Rage player up here. I will put the Searing Rage player up here. I think he's actually hella good. I think he's like super good. Uh, Marky Jesus, I feel like, you know, since he's coming from another game, he's also learning. But his fundamentals are there. His pressure's there with Frost. Maybe if he picked a better character, he would probably do better in the tournaments. But yeah, Marky Jesus is a good player. I just think that he, um, he needs to level up a little bit more. Monarch. Monarch's kind of YOLO. It works for him. It works for him most of the time. But what, what holds Monarch back is uh, I feel like sometimes he's too YOLO. And then good players kind of take advantage of that. And we already talked about Blaze. So SMK, I feel like SMK is, is, a, is a decent, good player. I think what holds back SMK is his character picks. He keeps playing Adenians. <laughs> he keeps playing like Frost and, and Melina and shit. You know, I think he needs to play like a solid character and he'll probably shoot up here. Uh, Konitz, pretty good. He switched off to the Jackie, but the Jackie is, like, not so great. Uh, Sif, I would have put Sif higher, but see, the issue with Sif is that Sif comes into the tournaments and doesn't really, um, perform at the level that I know he can play at. 
If Sif performed at the level that I know he can play at, Sif will be up here with like Skid Marky and Ginner and shit like that. Um, but that's the reason why Sif is down here is because Sif will come into a tournament, he'll wash everybody in pools and then get to top eight and then like start fucking memeing and shit. You know? I don't I don't know what that's about, but that's that's Sif. Um, Yasninski, did you just say Frost is in a Denny? You know what the fuck I meant, Caviar <laughs> You know exactly what I meant. Uh, Yasninski. Now, Yasninski is mad good, right? But I'm going to tell you why I put Yasninski so low. Yasninski lives and dies by the risk. If you take advantage, MNJ, what's going on? If you take advantage of Yasninski's risk, need to take risks, even when he doesn't need to take risks, that's the reason why he didn't. Uh, that's the reason why he got knocked out of top eight, by the way. Because against lesser players, that risk-taking play style will definitely work. But against good players, they're just going to let you hang yourself. You know what I mean? They will let you hang yourself 100%. And that's the thing with Yasninski. Like, I, I forgot who he played against. Let me go to the Smash GG real quick. Hold on a second. Actually, let me do this. This is actually easier. All right, let's see who he lost against in losers. So he beat Sunder. He lost. He lost to Slink. And the reason why he lost to Slink, if I remember correctly, is um, he started taking a lot of unnecessary risks when he had life lead. And Slink basically let him hang himself for that, and uh, and, and 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 killed him. You know, basically just rolled him because he kept doing dumb shit. Footsies, well, same thing as free punch. Footsies are good. Like, the, the, the general fundamentals are there. But Makaran just makes dumb decisions sometimes. You know? Yeah, I do agree with that anti-gorilla. Free punch could be insane. At, free punch could be up here. If, if he actually, like, grinded this game and tried to, like, be actually good. I'm not talking about combat league good. I'm talking about, like, actual good. Right? Like, there's a difference between being combat league good and, and actually good. Like, a lot of people, everyone on this list is combat league good. Like, just because I put someone lower or higher doesn't mean that you're bad at the game. That's not what I'm saying. 
So I want that to be perfectly clear is that no one on this list I consider to be bad except for fucking Johan. Except for Johan. If I can actually, can I add a tier below? Can I add a, a, a tier below? Add row below. All right, there we go. Shit tier. If I could put a tier here, I would put Johan down here. All right. There we go. All right, I will put Johan down here. All right. 100%. Right? Because he's actually garbage. Like, no one, any anyone master or higher, I do not consider bad at the game. Who is Johan? Saying Cetrion is barely top 10 is beyond us. Listen, we'll, we'll talk about Yo. When we get to Johan, we'll talk about Johan. Uh, but yeah, Makaron, free punch, decision making, reads are not really there. Uh, you guys, I feel like free punch relies, like, he's like those sh people in shooters who naturally have good aim, but they don't have much game sense. But they can walk in a room and, like, one tap three motherfuckers and, and then die and then be like, okay, guys, I killed three people now. I, I feel like that's kind of like free punch. He's like a gamer who understands mechanically how to play the game. But there's, like, a level of game sense that needs to be established before he can rise up in the ranks, you know? You got clips of Johan being bad. Well, I will explain everything about Johan in a second. Um, same thing for Makaron. Makaron's game sense is just not there sometimes, you know? Now, Gary. Gary used to be free. Gary's not free anymore. But let me tell you why I put Gary so low. Meta guessed correctly in Battlefront 2, you walk in a room with Darth Vader, you win the entire game. <laughs> exactly. Alright, so, um, Gary, I'm going to tell you why I put Gary so low, even though Gary has leveled up. We guys, you guys remember the tournament where Gary was popping the fuck off and shit? You know, I, I remember when Gary was popping off big time. Um, I do believe that Gary is a really good player. I would put Gary Demigod, but there is one reason why I don't put Gary higher, and that's because he's flow charting as fuck. He just recently leveled up to, to not being free, but now from especially in the tournament, he became so flow charty that Avil, who never text grabs by the way, Avil never text throws, Avil was able to guess and punish every throw attempt. Uh, and that's the reason why Avil was able to win over Gary when I felt like Gary should have beaten Avil. Flow chart? Uh, flowchart is basically like uh, a, a predetermined set of actions that you do. So let me look up the Ken flowchart. I'll give you guys an example. Ken flowchart. All right, here it is. This is a perfect example of the flowchart, right? But... All right. Fuck. All right, so here it is. This is a perfect example of the flow chart right here. So this is the kin. This is the kin flow chart, right? Flow chart is basically flaw chart is basically what you do over and over again in a match. So basically, you start at the beginning of the match, and you say, "Uh, what should I do? Uh, jump back, backwards, Hadouken. Did it hit? Yes, Hadouken again. Did it hit him? No. What did he do? Did he block? Okay, do another Hadouken. Did it hit him? No. What did he do? Did he jump? Sure you can. Um, did it? Uh, sure you can. Am I KO'd yet? <laughs> no. Uh, jump backwards. Hadouken. Did I hit him? Yes. Hadouken. Did I hit him? Yes. Hadouken. Did I hit him? No. What did he do? Knock me down. Is he close? Yes. No. Fuck it. Sure you can. Am I KO'd yet? No. Okay. Then you go back. Okay, you see what I mean? That's that's kind of like how Gary plays. You feel what I'm saying? And once people have uh, once people have figured out your flow chart, and that's what I'm saying. A lot of these, a lot of players down here, flow chart. So being predictable, yes. A lot of people down here flow chart, right? So I was saying, you play Street Fighter Five. This hurts. Lol. Yeah. So Gary is really good. It's basically like fighting an AI. They have predetermined abilities that you get used to. Yeah, once you start seeing like, okay, he's going to do this after this. He's going to do this into this. He's going to do this into that. So, yeah, like jump into stand, light punch, command grab, G theme plays. Exactly. 
I have the G theme here, actually. You want me to play it? Uh, Sunder, exact same thing. Sunder flowcharts like crazy. Uh, even Slink said it. Slink said that Sunder is a is a huge flowcharter. Like Sunder's, Sunder's probably even a bigger flowcharter than uh, than than Gary is actually. Sunder's probably the biggest flowcharter here, especially with the Raiden, and that and that leads to uh, and I think that's because he plays Raiden. Sunder beat MT though. Sunder got lucky. I don't think Sunder could do it again. Sunder might beat people, but Sunder is flow charting big time. And these people, Sunder can't beat any of these people because these people will recognize that flow chart and punish it. Gary didn't. He did it like three times though. But that's because Magic T hasn't figured out the, the flow chart yet. I'm pretty sure once Magic T figures out the flow chart, like everyone else has figured out the flow chart. I'm pretty sure whenever Magic T figures out Sunder's flowchart, he will. He, it's not gonna. He's not gonna lose anymore, and he'll probably never lose to Sunder again. Sunder gets lucky. Like I got clips of Sunder getting lucky as shit. Sunder has gotten so lucky on so many occasions, on matches he shouldn't have won because he does like teleport into something or, or he does something like completely crazy that should never work, and the game just gives it to him. Like that's kind of like a thing with Sunder. Sunder's a good player, but once again, Sunder's flow charting, and it might work for him in combat league, but tournament-wise, that's the reason why his uh, his tournament results are not really there, right? Because Sunder, where is Sunder? Sunder loses to Yasninski, right? So if Sunder can beat Magic T but can't beat Yasninski, you know why? Because Yasninski is more random. But you have to create your luck. I mean, it's all fine and good to create your luck, but that's not going to work every time. And that's the whole point. You can't rely on on luck. And even when he beat Magic T, that was the luckiest win I've ever seen. Like, Magic T was like plus a million. And he just happened to be off one frame. Magic T just happened to be off one frame in his link. And that's how, and that's why Sunder was able to Fatal Blow in it. That's not a skill. That's, that's pure luck. That's pure luck. Period. And every time... Sunder has beaten Magic T. It has been something extremely lucky. Uh, Meta wins the Street Fighter 5 streams coming back. I'm probably not going to play Street Fighter 5. I'm probably going to wait for Street Fighter 6, to be honest. Um, Tech. Tech is a bit flow charty. Tech is good. If Tech stops being flow charty, he'll instantly go up to God. But there's a lot of drop confirms from Tech. There's a lot of there's a lot of drops that come from Tech. Both Peck, um, I've seen him play a few times here and there. A little bit flow charty. Now, Zach Fair, I'm going to tell you why you're down here. Do you want to hear it? You're playing Liu Kang, but you're playing two. That Fatal Blow was legit. Magic T tested it on stream. Yeah, it was legit, but, like, why the fuck would you do it, though? Like, he was off by, like, a few frames. That's, like, Fatal Blowing in, like, a one-frame gap and calling it a read. You were all... He was always going to mash Fatal there. If Magic T had done anything else... If Magic T had done anything else other than grab, he would have Sunder would have lost. Just so you know. Just so you know. And that's and that's a fact. We can lab it right now. I can show you. If Magic T would have done anything else, Slink, I got you up here in Elder God tier. I got you up here in Elder God tier. This is the PC player tier list. Everyone everyone asks me to rank where I think PC players are. In the community. So that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, I'm putting me and Koizy below KP and Mia. Well, I'm going to get back up there. Just give me a second. Moving on. Um, Zach Fair. You're playing Lou, but it's the reverse problem of Ganani. It's the reverse problem of Ganani where you play too aggressively. Like, I feel like Lou, you need a balance of offense and defense to play Lou well. And that's the reason why Wasim is up here, because when Wasim plays Lou, it's a perfect mix of offense and defense, though. Right? Well, Slink, this is going to go on my YouTube channel. So I already explained why I put people where I put them. So you can go back and watch the VOD and, and understand why I put people above Deoxys or whatever. Um... But yeah, so Zach Fair is, is too aggressive. 
there's a lot of times where you end up in same issue as uh, Gary, same issue as um, who else did I say does that? Yasninski. You you put yourself in situations that you don't need to put yourself in most of the time. And like I said, it might work for Combat League, but that's a big part of the reason why your results aren't um, where you want them to be tournament-wise because you're you're, you're you're so aggressive. You're always trying to get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, but you're playing loot. You know, you don't need to always get in. You don't need to always rush down your opponent. You don't need to always go for the anti here. You don't need to always... Uh, you know, do the teleport mix up. Like it's it's there are times when you need to play safe and then there are times when you need to be aggressive. There's times when you need to mix up your opponent. There's times when you need to go in. There's times when you need to back off. But you there's only one speed and it's just go 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 go. And good players take advantage of that. They take advantage of the fact that you're always running at them to to, to punish you for it. You know? Like you take a lot of projectile damage you take a lot of uh, grabs. You take a lot of. Uh, you get whiff punished a lot. You know, like you, you, you're not careful with your life enough. And I think that if you were to be careful with your life, I would actually put you up here. You know, but the reason, the the thing is, you're not careful with your life, so that's why I put you down here. Uh, Super possessed and Kusai, same reason. Ixion, I put him down here. Ixion is a Street Fighter Five pro. Very one of the best players in the world is Street Fighter, actually. The reason why I put him down here is his fundamentals are good, but he has not really learned the game yet. So once Ixion learns the game, once he keeps playing and he learns all the shit, I'm pretty sure Ixion will be up there. But in the meantime, this is where he's at. Fake Life, you're down here because you mash too much. That's I don't know if Fake Life is here or not, but you're 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 playing Aaron and you're mashing with Aaron and people take advantage of that and they wash you. Um Life preservation is important. It is. It is. It, Zach Fair doesn't give a shit about his life. Zach Fair is always going in. And me and Abel, I remember one time me and Thamer, we were commentating about that. One time me and Abel, we commentated about that. I think even me and Evil Spawn, we said that as well. Like, we were commentating one of your matches in the tournament. And we were just like, man, Zach Fair is just go, 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 go. You know? Like, Zach Fair just, just puts his foot on the gas and doesn't let go. And that works for people who are afraid of your pressure. But... There's a lot of players above you who are not afraid. You know, they're not afraid of, of your pressure. And they will find the gaps and they will destroy you for it. Um, Fester used to be one of the best PC players. But he has not leveled up in a long time. When everyone else has leveled up, uh, Fester has not leveled up. Nascor doesn't even play this game. Uh, and Yoba. Now, let's talk about Yoba. Yoba would be a god tier player if he didn't have such a bad attitude. And you guys should let Yoba know that I said this. I told Yoba I was going to put a bottom one, but you guys put Johan in here. So Johan takes his bottom one spot. Yoba's attitude is what holds him back. Yoba is has literally one of the best Scarlets on PC. He doesn't want a player. He blames the character. He doesn't lab anything. He doesn't, and like, for someone who's so good at Scarlet, he actually has no idea about frame data or anything. You know? And it's actually crazy, because he's beaten so many of the of these top... He's beaten so many people above him with his Scarlet. But his attitude is terrible, because when he loses, all he does is complain. Most of the copy pasta channel in the Discord are Yoba quotes. Of him saying literal scrub, scrub quotes. After every loss, not labbing, not learning, not improving. So while everyone else is labbing their losses, watching back their footage. Yeah, exactly. Like, he doesn't want to lab anything. He doesn't, like, that's the thing. We keep telling him, like, yo, you would have won that. Just lab the situation. You know, we kept telling him, like, if you're going to play Scarlet, lab these situations that you're losing to because you did good. You just need to lab the situation to find the best move to do in the situation. But he doesn't want to do that. So, like, he's beaten a lot of people up here. Like, he's beaten... I know he's beaten Abel. He's beaten Gamebug. He's beaten me. He's beaten... Uh, he's gotten really close to beating Skid. I mean, Yoba has beaten people with his Scarlet. But Yoba complains. He calls his character bottom... He says Scarlet is bottom one. He says his character's trash. He tries to play Garrus. He tries to play top tier. 
he gets washed when he plays top. Yeah, he blames the character and not himself. He doesn't lab anything, and then he tries to play top tier, and then he gets washed because it's the same problem, you know. So that's that's why Yoba's down here. And whenever he fixes his attitude, he will shoot. He will shoot up the tier list, but until he fixes his attitude, he's down here. And now let's get to the piece of the resistance, Mr. Fucking Johan, right here. This guy is the most carried Cetrion player. No Yoba speak facts, lol. This guy, Broken Virtue, aka Johan, is actually the most carried Cetrion player I have ever seen. I'm playing Jax, and I can beat my I can beat his Cetrion with Jax. And he has the nerve to talk shit. Why is Omar Massad higher than you? He's a KL Scorp. Last well, from what I remember. From what I remember, I remember him playing really well. But to be honest, I might remove both Omars because I have not seen either of these two play in a very long time. So I'm just going to remove them. Yeah, I don't remember either of these guys, to be honest with you. I don't remember which is which. I don't. I haven't seen either of these two play in a long time. So, uh, but yeah, Johan is a... Uh, it is the most carried piece of shit. He's toxic as fuck. He's always uh, creating drama in between people in the community. Abyss crying after he's considered a top player. Abyss wants to be more top. Abyss wants to be even more top. Uh, so yeah, Johan is uh, is 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 on. Like Johan tried to create drama in between like multiple people in the community. Abyss beat you. He's elder god. Uh, there's a reason why Abyss is lower though. There's a reason why I put Abyss lower, though, Slink. And I'll explain it again. The reason why I put Abyss here is that he can't... He, he might have beat you, but he can't beat anyone else here. You know? Vixen is a higher tier? Nah, I don't think so. I think Vixen is extremely good, but like I said, Vixen doesn't really play this game. And if Vixen was to play this game, he would be up here. But Vixen doesn't really play that much, so... Hey, Sif, what's going on? Wait, Yoba's so low. Hey, Sif, what's going on? All right, so this is my tier list. You said, nah, that's cap. No, nah, that's not cap at all. That's the tier list. In your opinion, Yenner and Abyss skills are close? No, I don't think so at all. Like I said, I've been watching you guys. How many, how many tournaments have we done, chat? How many tournaments have we done? I know with this one, I've done at least like 40. Let me see. Hold on. Let me go to my account. Let me go to my account. I've done 40 on this account. Uh, how many did we do on this one? did like 20 on this one yeah we did we did we did at least like damn near over 100 tournaments actually let me go to the youtube channel Hold on. how many tournaments have we done i have sat here and watched all of them no i don't want to hear johan's message nobody needs to communicate to me johan's message by the way i don't want to hear it because he's just going to talk shit all right, so how many uh, tournaments have we done? Let's see. We've done 43 viewer tournaments. We've done 20 PC League tournaments. We've done over 40-something fight nights that, I, that I've uploaded. We've done at least like 60, 70 fight nights, right? Skid, what's going on? So, yeah, so I think I, think I might have an idea. By the way, your position is just above Johan Law. <laughs> Make Radius teleport one slot. Law. Uh, you still want to know where I put you? I will probably put you with Gary and Sunder in them. You're higher than me. Don't downplay. See, I am in J. I've never seen you play. That's the thing. That's the only reason why I haven't placed you. I've never seen you play, so yeah. 
Uh, Slink and Skid, you guys trying to do a first to ten? I don't mind commentating it. I don't mind commentating it if you guys want to do that, like a first to ten right now. Hey, you haven't been able to find a link to PC Fight Night on the Discord? It's on the Smash Link's uh, channel. No, you want casuals? All right, no problem. Um, yeah, so this is my tier list, guys. You're impatient. That's why you always say you're trash. So, yeah, with that being said, this is the tier list. The whole VOD is going to go up on the YouTube uh, probably later on today. Big sitting better than Koizy? No way. No way. No way. Uh-uh. No way, Jose. Mm -mm. All right, so let me save this. PC player tier list. All right, there we go. All right, guys. There we go. I hope you guys like the PC player tier list. guys had a good time with it. <laughs>